This was asked by someone who I think was getting married. What would be the most interesting metal to make a ring from? I suppose if you were getting married, one of the most interesting metals would be a magnetic alloy. An interesting metal for a ring. You probably couldn't use iron because that might rust. Well, platinum and gold are often used. So is copper, so it can't be any of those. I think it would have to be... Um, what's wrong with gold? <laughs> diamonds are a girl's best friend. Well, she has some diamonds in there. Do you know what I would like? I would like to have some kind of, um, I don't know, like a, 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 a ring that encases mercury. I suppose quite a novel ring would be made of mercury. So it's like something like a, a, a strong glass or something like that, you know. Um, but obviously it's got to be delicate to fit, fit on your finger. But so that the mercury will just constantly slosh around. But you'd really have to cool it down to keep it on your finger. That would make the most interesting thing. And also, you know, it's, it's quite risky wearing it, isn't it? Because any time if it breaks, you can just cover yourself in mercury. Maybe not the best idea. I don't know. Um, interesting metal. Interesting. Um, Goodness. Um, I don't know. Titanium is pretty light. Very stiff. Um, what about a cesium ring? <laughs> Everybody ready? <laughs> Platinum would be quite nice, but gold's also nice. I mean, interesting. No, I don't know. Maybe they just standard. What would be the most interesting? So the melting point of gallium is, is quite close to the body temperature, isn't it? So if you could make a ring out of gallium, while you're at your normal body temperature, the, the ring would probably sit quite nicely on your finger because it's cooled by the environment. But if you were to get like hot and perhaps feverish, then the ring would probably start to melt. So that would be quite interesting. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'd like to see just how heavy a lead ring would be. Imagine if a couple had magnetic rings, then when they held hands, they'd stick together. Well, I think bismuth would be good, because I remember the bismuth videos, and it looks very pretty. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Wedding rings are really special, aren't they? You know, it's, it's what matters to you and it's the metal that you associate with the person you want to be with. A carbon fibre. That's well, not metal, is it, though? Um, titanium? I don't know. A bit expensive. But I think just go with gold. It's, it's pretty good. My, my ring, my wedding ring is made out of, um, it's made out of Welsh gold. So, uh, obviously because of the Welsh connection. So my wife and I have got uh, matching Welsh gold wedding rings. So. Well, how's Welsh gold different to other gold? Well, Welsh gold's no different to gold that's made anywhere else, you know, perhaps Ethiopia or, or mined in South Africa. But I suppose what makes it Welsh gold is where it was mined, and it was mined in a, in a small valley in North Wales, so it's quite close to my home and quite close to, to my family links.